Cool. So we've got a drum beat in. Uh, we've selected all of it and right clicked and I went to quantize and it quantizes it to whatever grid we're at. Here it says we're at 1 16th. So each grid space is a 16th. We can change the size of the grid just by using the zoom. If you move your mouse tool around here, click and zoom around, you can see it move. So um, that's, uh, you can adjust that size by zooming in. If you want, you can also right click and go to quantize settings and adjust it from there. Quantize to, the default is the current grid size, but if you want to specify anything else, you can do it here. The nice thing is you can adjust both the start of each MIDI note and also the end. So you can quantize the ends of MIDI notes if you needed to. And another nice thing is an amount. By default it's 100%, but you might want it only to quantize it 50%, so it moves it halfway to the nearest grid slot. Up to you, there are settings that you can do. That gridifies your, uh, your rhythms, but of course that tends to lead to quite mechanical sounding drum parts. I'm just going to put in some hi-hats so we can hear it. Um, I'm going to draw them in this time, so up in the top corner I'm going to click the little pencil and then I'm going to look for hi-hat, there it is. You can click on the key as well and if this headphone is turned on you'll hear the sound. can help. Uh, so hi-hat. I'm just going to click and drag and it draws in 16th notes. Let's have a listen to that. Very mechanical sounding. Let's add a groove, because that's going to make it feel a bit nicer, a bit more groovy. So, in the left hand side, we can see this clip settings box. I'm going to press the little button next to Groove, and when you do that, the library shows the pool of different grooves that Ableton has. Uh, there's some from Logic, uh, there's some MPC grooves which are really nice. That's from the MPC drum machine sampler, Akai. So I'm going to use some of those. Uh, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to get a sixteenth note one and let's try double down 70. If I click once you hear a little example of the feel of that. If I double click on it it will apply it and we see the groove just in there. Actually our, our MIDI notes don't move visually but if we have a listen You can really hear the hi-hat swinging there. So that's quite fun to experiment with. And you can get different grooves up to you, which you want to try. Maybe, uh, what else have we got? SP12, that's another famous sampling drum machine. Let's try a 63. That's a bit more slacky, slack sounding. Double click on that and it adds it to our little list of potential grooves. And you can choose different feels and that's all it happens in, it does it all in real time. Once you're happy, you can then press commit and remember this window on the left tells you exactly what's going on anyway. As soon as you commit, it will write the current groove settings to the clip and you'll see all your MIDI notes 
change. Now I'm listening to that, it sounds good, I like it, but my hi-hats are all a bit loud. <coughs> Final little bit, let's adjust those hi-hat volumes. I'm going to move over here uh, to this line, just to lift that up a little bit. Each one of these is a velocity. You can see, you can grab these little lollipops and move them up and down, and it, it changes the volume. Or, if you want to change the volume of all the hi-hats, I can just click the note, it selects all the hi-hats, I can just grab one, and they all move down together, nice and easy. Good, that sounds better. So we just selected everything on the same line just by clicking the key and that will select all of those notes and then you can grab any of them, any one of those, move them up and they all move together.